Who's your gardener? Hello, YouTube. Well, I've harvested all of, all but a handful of my carrots, and uh, a lot of people don't like to process carrots because they think it takes them too long to do. They want to peel them and slice them and all that. Um, I have peeled or I have sliced mine, but I do not peel them. So um, the peel actually is, is really good for you. It's what was in contact with the dirt where that's where all the minerals are. So um, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to clean them up. And uh, I'm just going to use these and can them. I've already canned a, a load of them already. I've already processed about a bushel. This is the last of them right here. So I'll show you how I do it. It's uh, pretty simple. Once again, toilet bowl brush, clean one, brand new. Um, stick it in your carrots and go to town. Now I'm gonna try and do this one handed here, folks. It will be loud, I'm sorry. Uh, one man project here, so. Um, you can see as I rotate these, um, they actually will spiral around almost, and uh, they go through the brush. Um, I've already washed them once. This is the second washing. I usually do it three times. So I'm just going to show you how it works, uh, how they look, and, and so forth. So uh, hang in there. Once again, it's going to be loud. Now you see that foam on there. Now my little sink here has a um, little screen that goes in it. I would not run this down your drain. Um, the best place to do this actually would be outside. But I'm down here in my, my basements where I do all of my canning and stuff. Anyways, um, you know, when you pull a carrot out, it's got all these little fine hair roots on it too, right? See, I, I don't I don't peel those, I don't cut them, I don't do, I just slice them up like I did here. This brush will take those little hair roots off and they'll wind up getting entrapped in the screen. So if you do it outside, get you a colander or something and pour them through, it, it works nice. Now this foam, I'm just going to, this, this foam has got some junk caught up in it. So instead of trying to pour it off, I just fill it up with a little bit of cold water and let it spill off the side. And you can see the water is quite nasty. That, Like I said, that's the second washing, uh, which looks a lot better than the first one. This sink is clean, by the way. It, it's, uh, it looks horrible, uh, but it's plastic. Um, it's not like a porcelain or anything. So about, I don't know, twice a year I come down and I bleach the bejeebies out of it. But you see how all that foam is now in the bottom of the sink here. I'll just move this off of my screen. Once again, this is a one-handed job here. And I'm going to let that drain down a little bit. Now here's where it's going to get interesting with a one-handed job. 
want to try to hold it here. You can see there's a lot of dirt and stuff that come out of it that one carrot will throw him back in there. Now I'm going to show you this screen. See, before you could almost see through it. All of that particle there is those hair roots that are on the uh, carrots. That brush uh, just chews them up. And then what I do is I, I've been tapping them in my gar garbage can here. That's what all this stuff here is on the garbage can. When I'm done, I'll throw all that out. But it's that simple. So here's two washings, and I mean, they're clean, you know. Uh, I'll do one more for good measure, and I do wash them with a little warm water. You can wash them with cold water. It, it honestly don't matter, but we all know that, you know, warm water will break that dirt and stuff up off of them. And uh, get you a bucket, like I said, just... You don't want to get too full or too many of them down in there because if you get too many in there they uh, they tend to bog down your your drill so make sure you dry your hands if you're using electric drill people <laughs> okay um, I normally would use a, a cordless drill but my cordless drill batteries have give up the ghost so the old Hoosier gardener needs to get some batteries but that's how we clean carrots. No peeling. Just chop them up, throw them in a bucket of water, and put your toilet bowl brush to work. It's it's a it's a time saver. Like I said, I've already done a bushel of these carrots. And um, they are well, let me just turn the light on in here and I'll show you guys. My little root cellar. Got some potatoes in here. Right up here, some salsa I made this year. And these are all the pints that I've done. All the way back up in there of carrots. Right now I actually have seven quarts of carrots in the um, canner. I'm waiting for it to depressurize. And then um, I also have, um, that looks gross, but it's actually uh, tomato soup. And uh, the, the, the recipe I had uh, used uh, butter in it. So that's what that is at the top. Um, we also froze some carrots, uh, blanched them and froze them. This is tomatilla jelly, uh, roasted tomatilla jelly. Uh, pickles sweet pickles I'm gonna do a probably next year my my cucumbers didn't do squat this year uh, but this is probably by far the best pickle recipe I have ever run into um, and if you like sweet pickles um, but we got some pears canned up back here. The, the pink ones have uh, uh, red hots in them. Of course got some dry goods down here on the bottom. Pickled beets. Done a mess of those this year. Of course green beans and there's the potatoes I did. This is a like a candied pumpkin. Those are really good. Of course, over here I've got some another shelf. It's got more green beans on it, pears, and more salsa at the bottom. So, it's my partner there in crying that chair while I'm doing my canning. But uh, it's not a fancy setup. It's just a just a garage kitchen, if you will. Uh, waiting on the uh, canter to depressurize. Oh, sounds like it's about ready. Y'all, hang on. Oh, yeah, it is. That's uh, suction, not, not pressure. 
See? Let's see if I can open this bad boy one-handed. I don't know if I can do it or not. Stand by. Well, you probably got a wild shot there. <laughs> there they are. Those are Tatler lids. They are reusable from year to year. Every, oops, sorry, got a little, little foggage going on there. And uh, they just have a rubber seal uh, that goes underneath the plastic lid. Uh, they do can up different. You do have to uh, you do have to tighten the lids when you take them out. So when you put them in, they are finger tight. A beautiful batch of carrots, for sure. All right, I gotta have two hands for the rest of this, y'all. Who's your gardener here? Lord bless. Have a good day.